Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Mara and I am a Welsh Celtic witch. I'm originally from the Isle of Anglesey, Ynysmorn, up in North Wales. I'm a fluent Welsh speaker and I decided to start making this channel all about Welsh Celtic paganism, Welsh Celtic practices, Welsh Celtic magic and just altogether Welsh. <laughs> I was asked by a few people from um, a few groups that I'm in on Facebook to post a little bit of information about Welsh Celtic practices. If you are a pagan who is um, quite present on social media, you'll notice that Celtic practices are very, very popular, very, very popular among neo-pagans today. And um, rightly so, because Celtic practices are very much a lot of our heritage, a lot of our cultures, and it's lovely to see more people being drawn towards their own culture rather than being drawn to another culture that they don't really have any connection to. Um, and the sad thing is, within like social media circles and within groups online, within all sorts of kind of reference books and such that you can find, when the word Celtic comes up, it very much usually only seems to cover Irish and Scottish, which means there's a whole cultural background of people that's being ignored. And I find this myself because I'm a Welsh Celtic witch first and foremost. I consider myself Welsh first. Um, then Celtic, and I'm very much a witch. Uh, I don't really refer to myself as pagan very much these days, but I am a witch, and I do operate within a very pagan kind of way of working. And I find that I find it very hard to find, I've said the word find so many times now, I find that I find it very hard to find um, very many resources and books on the topic of Welsh Celtic paganism uh, and just anything talking about the Welsh Celtic cultural continuum in general. And so I thought I would come on here and talk about the what I do know, basically. Um, what I do know of Welsh myth, Welsh folklore, Welsh magic, Welsh witchcraft even, and Welsh paganism, Welsh Celtic paganism. I thought I'd come on here and discuss it with you guys because um, I'm a first language Welsh speaker, so I've grown up in the culture. I grew up on Anismon, which if you know anything about the geography of Wales, you'll know that Anglesey, Anismon, Mona is exceptionally sacred to the Druids and such. It's, uh, it was the last stronghold of the Druids during the Roman invasion, so it was the last place that the Druids lived. Having grown up there, I grew up surrounded by uh, prehistoric monuments and all sorts of beautiful kind of monuments that match Stonehenge and such in awe and beauty, majesty and magic, really. I grew up with the mythology of my land, the folklore of my land, you know, I grew up on stories from the Mabinogi, I grew up being taught them in school. For example, the story of Branwen is one I know inside out because I was made to read it in school, I was made to watch plays of it, and even when I studied performing arts at college level, I had to perform Branwen. So I know the story of Branwen, which is one of the main stories in the Mabinogi. And like I said, I'm a first language Welsh speaker, so this was one of the reasons I decided to make videos rather than just writing up blogs or making posts on social media. And that was because the Welsh tradition is very much oral. Welsh is a language that is inherently and intrinsically magical. Um, it's very hard to connect to the culture of Wales if you don't really know how to pronounce the words, if you don't really know how the names are pronounced, if, if you don't know how the stories are told in a very oral kind of linguistic sense. Uh, because there's just so many nuances in the language and the things that we talk about. And as a first language speaker, I can come on here and I can explain how to uh, kind of pronounce a lot of the words and I can explain a lot of kind of the etymology behind the words and how I would perceive it as a first language Welsh speaker. So, for example, in the Mabinogi or the Mabinogion, you might know it as, um, our kind of collection of myths in Wales, you have characters and deities and figures and spirits that many, many modern pagan practitioners choose to work with. 
such as Kerithwen and Rhiannon, and a lot of people don't know how to pronounce these names. I've, I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube from American and English pagans who try to explain who Rhiannon or Kerithwen is, but, you know, they do mispronounce the words, which I can't blame them for. They're English, it's a whole different language. I wouldn't know how to pronounce the names of for example, Spanish deities, probably. I wouldn't know how to pronounce French ones. I wouldn't know how to pronounce Italian ones. So it's the same thing, isn't it? Like, I think, I feel as though it's easier to learn when you're hearing it from the horse's mouth, so to speak. Anyway, I've babbled on for too long. This was just an introduction into who I am and what I aim to do with this channel. And to put it shortly and sweetly, I am Mara. I'm a witch. I'm from Wales. And I'm going to teach you all about the Welsh Celtic cultural continuum and paganism, witchcraft, magic and all sorts from my native homeland. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you stick around to see the rest of my videos. The next video that I do will be all about that mystical force known as Awen. Stay around for that and I will see you soon. Thank you very much. Bye.